All right, in this question, we're going to work um, um, into a fraction addition. So what we need to do here first is find the common denominator. All right, because you can't add fractions uh, without them having the same denominator. So uh, the most basic way, uh, after you practice this a lot, you realize common denominators are, uh, there's, there are shortcut ways to determine them, but the, the sure-fired way to do it is to make a list of the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on, right? Those are the multiples of 5. <clears throat> now we make the multiples of 10, which is the other denominator. 10, 20, 30, 40, all right? And that goes on and on. All right, when we say common denominator, we actually usually modify that to say the, find the least common denominator, not meaning that it's uh, the least common but it's the least number. It's the lowest number. So we're looking for a number that is common to these two lists of numbers. All right? To these two lists, we're looking for the smallest number that is common. And you can see pretty quickly that number is 10. It's the second number on the list of fives, and it's the first number on the list of 10. All right? 20 works, and 30 works as well, but those are not the least common. If you use 20 or if you use 30, you'll get an answer that will need to be simplified. Um, we may still get an answer that needs to be simplified here. We'll just have to see when we work it. So now what we do is we set up um, fractions uh, that have denominators of our uh, new common denominator of 10. Well, we're in luck because negative 3 over 10, when you rewrite it as a fraction over 10, well, it's, it's just negative 3 over 10. It already has the common denominator. But 7 fifths does not. All right, so 7 fifths we need to rewrite that as a fraction over 10. All right, so 7 fifths is some number over 10. So the way we do this is we say 5 goes into 10 how many times? It goes 2 times, right? So we're basically multiplying the denominator by 2. So what we do is we say, all right, 5 goes into 10 2 times, and we do 2 times 7. So we multiply the numerator by 2. So we're essentially multiplying the numerator by 2, and the denominator by 2. And when you multiply by 2 over 2, that's the same as 1. So you aren't changing it, right? When you multiply anything by 1, you get the same number back. So 7 times 2 is 14. So again, just to reiterate, what we're doing here is saying, let's do 7 fifths times 2 over 2, right? And we get 14 over 10. That's essentially all we're doing. So this is equivalent to 1. So we haven't changed the underlying value of 7 fifths. So now we have negative 3 tenths plus 14 tenths. And now we know our final answer will have 10. And now we just take the numerators and add them. Negative 3 plus 14 uh, is this negative 3 plus 14, by the way, is the same as saying 14 minus 3. 14 minus 3 is 11. And so we get the final answer is 11 tenths.